Maybe we can get Gandhi to attack Scythia. They've been in a war for like 2,000 years. <laughs> Which is why we're going to start seeing more and more barbarians like spawn over here, tear up their terrain, just generally be pests. What you got? You are going to go and do this. Love. Build up that military. Uh, and I think you're here to be upgraded. Oh, wait, what? What? You don't have to upgrade through the intermediary steps? I don't have to go to Swordman first? Which is handy if I don't have iron. Which I do have iron. You only need one to upgrade. So 155, because again, we're at half price because we got professional army, upgrades this warrior directly to a musket. After a, a delay, that had me a little scared. How's my settler? He's going! He's going. I think you're just standing there. Oh yeah, because you were on the crabs and now you're moving around. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're gonna be fine. One turn to the theater square. Got that encampment. Got this, the armory. You're gonna start producing some units there too. And yeah, in 10 turns we'll, we'll potentially do a reshuffle. I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of the encampment booster, and then we'll take a look to see if there's anything, if I've unlocked anything that helps me build um, my, uh, my muskets quicker. Cool, no has the half-naked dudes with wooden clubs in his army. <laughs> it's one of the things, you'll actually see a lot of pretty low-tech units later in the game for a lot of the AI, depending on what they've got available to them, because I don't know why. But you do. Oh yeah, the spearmen can be upgraded as well. We can do pikemen. I should do that now. France has gone from renaissance to industrial. Okay, that's not so scary. It's America who's teching like a freaking crazy person that's going to be the more terrifying one. We'll have to- we'll get there. Uh, boost towards civil service. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade you. 105 to go to a pikeman. I mean, it's unfortunate you don't already have a, um, you know, promotion or whatever, but that's- that'll do. I'll do you as well. And... Musket over here. We may as well boost our effective apparent military strength. Alright. First of all, does the theater square by itself have slot for a great work? I don't think so, right? No. So I will go right up to... Well, or I might want to throw in some more military units up here too. Just literally get, like, every one of my cities building at least something. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, at least we're getting a little bit of... Uh, no. I got to commit. Commit hard. So you're going there. You're going to go here. Although this might all get pillaged because I think Scythia does act... Oh, right. You're still alive, you butt face. I don't think you steal workers. think you do. But now I'm not sure. How close are we to becoming the suzerain of Namadal? Eight with America. God damn it, America! I do have an envoy. I'm just gonna bank it, keep banking it for now. They do? They do. I suppose I can escort you with the musket, but no, that's like, that's not worth our time. So I'm going to go and bring you down towards St. Petersburg. And I'm just going to move these guys actually onto the Tundra tiles. And you're just going to move to the front. Or what will be the front. Oh, there's our armor. No, no, I want to save it up. Well, I suppose I can dump it into Nanmadal now. It might increase their borders, but that's not a problem for me. I don't... Uh, I do actually have a theater square now, so it will give me plus two culture. Which ain't nothing right now, so that's okay. You're gonna go improve these fishies. One turn away there, and then you're gonna start building military units for me. Did I have a builder coming down here? <sighs> Fucking hell. Man, oh man, I'm glad these guys have been fighting me. That's okay. Buenos Aires wants a trade route. Okay. Didn't you just praise me for my culture? But I think you've probably gotten a culture boost, and I'm falling behind you now. Because I suspect how you made those things. The purpose of education 
is to replace an empty mind with an open one. All right, choose production. You've done that. You've got your ancient walls. We could go to medieval. Or I could just build military units. Although you don't have a barracks yet. We do actually, for seven more turns, we've got the plus 30% boost to building military buildings. But this is going to be the front. Well, I guess it comes down to how long before we actually declare war. Some production also provides some housing, but I'm kind of tempted to just start building military here too, which I think is exactly what I'm going to do. And yeah, even against cavalry, the muskets will simply be better, so that's going to be fine. I'm not building any more pikemen. I'm happy, you know, they're fine that they're here; they'll be useful. But I'm not building anymore. So. It'd be nice if I could fulfill the promise to not move my troops too close before the war does start. I mean, I guess after that it's not going to matter. She's going to hate me anyway because I'm going to own one of her cities. But I don't know if, like, the breaking promises, other people might be bothered by that. So I'll try to avoid moving too close. Yeah. I'm going to one slot still. I'm going to build one musket here, and then I'm going to go and build an amphitheater. Which I believe has a slot for work of writing. Yeah. So I'm going to move the Great Rider over there, because that's where he'll want to be later on. You're going to move the fish. Do we have any, like, funny focuses? You're still on food focus, which is actually okay, because otherwise you're starved to death. I think when you get to size 6, I'll see if I can change that up. None of these others, because you're mostly housing locked and whatnot. Right, same thing here with St. Petersburg. I think if I don't have you on food focus, you like to starve to death. So we'll leave you on there. You've got plenty of housing too, so what the heck, man. Okay. Oh, you're right. Stables would upgrade my Cossacks when I get around to building them. So I may want to build a stable here. Cossacks aren't going to be involved in this war, I don't think. I think this war is going to start before Cossacks. But yeah, I'll build a stable here, and then what I can do is try to optimize my production so that I build all my horsey type units over here. Once Novgorod does get the army, it's going to basically be the, the one who produces all the regular units as much as possible. You want silver and mercury? That's not enough money. But how about... Can we do like a one-to-one? -one? Your diamonds... No. No, all right. You don't like me enough. Or you don't need amenities as much. My amenities are still positive, though. My people are happy. They're not ecstatic anymore, but they're still happy. I guess what I'll do over here is I'll probably buy... Well, I don't, I'm not making any money. We got... Oh, wow. We're actually going to start running a deficit soon. It's a good thing we're working on this commercial hub. Because, yeah, we're going to start running a deficit in the moment with all our military stuff. Um, ooh, e, ah. All right, Novgorod. Speaking of military stuff... You're going to get started on another musket. And you have done that, which is great. And you're not really going to improve. You're not going to use that tile. I'm going to go and put another lumber mill over here. Because right now, since we're so um, housing capped... And I mean, I could build a bunch of farms, which gives us more housing. But because we're housing capped, it's a lot of the production is a little bit more important at this time. There, that's gonna be good enough. But yeah, I'm a little worried about our finances. This only gave me one gold as is, but I can follow it up immediately with a market. That is fine, just take other people's stuff. I mean, I'd feel a little bit better if we had some money stored, but I can always sell some more things for cash. We're done our upgrades! We've upgraded every unit we're looking to upgrade, so at least we've got that. She's saying I'm not spying enough. Okay. I only have one external trade route right now. And it's to someone who I'm about to go to war with. Well, about. And you're still at war with two people? 
Yes, you are. God, that makes me so happy. I don't even remember who the other person you're at war with. Anymore. I'm just gonna ignore you. I'm not gonna lie and, like, ruin my international reputation. Maybe I've already fulfilled the promise a second time. Um... Oh yeah, Egypt. Egypt and India. So, and that's one of the reasons Egypt might have had a lot of units here. Now, they're currently in a war against uh, England as well, so that might take some of the pressure off here. Not that we've really seen it, but Egypt may have been pushing over here. Or maybe wasn't really doing anything against Scythia actively. We've certainly seen that before. Um, I don't even remember where this guy was supposed to be going here. I actually will get you to build a mine. So you're gonna go and stand there. Okay. Mr. Pikeman, you're fully healed up, so... Yeah, just start working, walking towards the front. This builder, uh, yeah, you're going to go and definitely get some more lumber mills set up. And hooray! I found a city way over here. Delete the pin. Hello, cousin. So, I do need a builder to improve things over here. Um, I do like Monument first, but part of me also is thinking about Ancient Walls first, because it's so isolated, but the odds of someone targeting this seems a little lower, but it is really isolated. Still, I think the strongest play for the city is actually to start with a builder. Because I'm not in a position to buy a builder, because we're going to be running a bit of a deficit soon. Just moving troops to the front is going to be a pain in the ass with so many other units around. <laughs> wow. Oh, your delegation is most welcome. Oh, he's such a bro. I'm sure he's never going to do anything crazy later in the game when we discover uranium. But again, it's not India that I'm worried about. We're good friends with India. Um, that's much better. You want my silver for your gypsum, and you'll give me a little bit of money. I'm not going to negotiate it. You actually have a lot of money in your account. That's interesting. All right, that's very good for me. Anyone know what distance counts as settling near another city? No, I don't, actually. There we go. There's the promise broken. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, so you're going to sleep there. You're going to go and do this. So Scythea's going to hate me for the rest of the game. That's okay. They're going to hate me a lot when I declare war, too. I'm going to do that. Get the bombard going on. Money's okay. Um, and yeah, we're going to finish the commerce hub, and then... I think we even have... Do we have banking already, too? I think we might. Um, so we'll just build market into bank and go on from there. Siege tactics will get a boost in... Four turns. So two turns we get another one, and then four turns another. So that'll line up quite nicely. Even if I forget to switch my tech, because it literally won't be an issue. So now I don't have to worry about my unit positioning, because I've already told her, like, F you. So... God damn. Okay, let me get that. And... Mr. Builder, I don't know what I wanted to do with you. Oh, I was going to send you over to the woods over here, where there's now someone standing... God, God, there's just so much noise. It's not like I can stop the missionaries, open borders or not. Actually, I don't have open borders with Scythia. Look at these apostles. So they're doing religious warfare at the same time as everything else. <laughs> I don't want to look at the score. I'm worried. Oh, more Taoism. Still doesn't spread to our capital, but I guess that's okay. It's still going to take us, like, 10-15 turns just to move an army to the front. You know, and that's after we build it. Thirty-four turns. Yeah, I didn't actually check to see what tile you were, you were working here. That's a pretty sound tile. Alright, so you're going to go there. You're probably going to sit in this thing. Although, this would also be another good place for just an archer-type unit because it'll be protected by the, the compound. But yeah, I'm going to set these guys across the sea. Because I think we're going to be able to bombard a fair amount of good stuff over there. If you 
build a money hub in Moscow and your capital next to each other and then build two harbors. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I could get two harbors right here and then commercial districts, well, one commercial district here next to two um, uh, harbors would actually be really nice. And the second one would also be fine. In fact, a Moscow may just build a commercial hub here next to the, the river, like triple river slots. And actually, St. Petersburg could do the same thing. You get plus one gold for each river tile it's adjacent to. So I don't think we have to do funny um, harbor tricks, unless the bonus from harbors is better. It's actually plus two gold for each adjacent river. Plus two for each harbor. So yeah, it is the same thing. Um, but yeah, uh, plus two for each adjacent river. Unless that all, does this all count as one river? Maybe it does. But what about right here? I wonder. Well, we'll have to see. Uh, oh, she built the Potato Palace. Catherine built the Potato Palace. Uh, I should probably squeeze out a couple of universities. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I can't go directly to my own city down here. Because of all the people in the way. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god! Let's uh, slowly creep up as much as we can. <laughs> and in fact, what's ironic, if, if I'm putting units back here, it's actually going to help. Actually, you know what's helping? France is helping Scythea by blocking all these tiles with their goddamn religious units. I mean, I could put a bunch of units at sea and then ready to go, but I think she does have ships, so I'd be a little concerned about that. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you're gonna go there. You know, I think I should faith buy Giovanni here. Because I'm about to finish a commercial district. This is giving me a market and bank. That's huge money. Just dump, uh, ooh, uh... Ooh, two Eurekas... No, I'm going to take Giovanni. This is going to be worth so much money for us. Also, the bank gets two great work slots which can hold anything. Hello! This is perfect. Boom. And we get a boost towards mercantilism. Excellent. Love to see that. And it looks like it finished the city-state quest as well. For Jerusalem. Okay. Alright, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Oh yeah, I should... Well, I mean, I don't need to denounce her yet. Although India might appreciate that, I'm not sure. She's probably going to denounce me for breaking the promise. Which either way gives me a CB. I mean, I could declare early, right? I'm talking about like getting everything in position to rush the city. I could declare early and just start like plonking off her units. Because she clearly can't threaten me right now. Right? With my crossbows here, and a couple of melee units here, her units are obsolete. Let me uh, wake you up, but not do anything with you yet. You know what? Let's go ahead with the denounce. Fuck it. Good idea. I denounce you. No one will believe how your hollow lies. Thomas is a good friend to the worthy. Well, I don't know. You must have upset a, a good number of people. Oh, you're gonna do that thing where- okay, just move there. Or like, I can't skip you for some reason. I guess I could have forced the next turn, probably. <laughs> this is such a mess! <laughs> like, I couldn't even cross the ocean over here if I wanted to. Wall of missionaries. There does need to be a thing where you can, like, attack, uh, religious units sometimes with military units. <laughs> and then there's India. <laughs> Are not good enough. I don't want your open borders. Yeah, see, what? No. 
will you give me for this? Yeah, okay. I would just want, like, whoa! 225 gold. It's like, I, I want you to just tell me how much gold you want. Okay, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough, so refuse. Okay. No worries. It's like, I only want this gold. I only want gold. Tell me how much you need. Let's use that as a baseline. And if you don't have enough gold, then throw some more stuff in there. Be nice to- oh, it's an option to negotiate. You can move up. You can move to here. So, I mean, I'm gonna wait until I've got a justified war. America and probably India still won't be happy. Although, I mean, I'm declaring war against someone you've declared war against, so, like... Settle down, right? Two turns away. Do that, and you're just gonna park yourself next door. <sighs> build a lumber mill over there. Oh yes. Sorry, I, I can't get you in position yet. You go there. You're gonna have to get used first. So you're gonna upgrade the commercial hub, and then we'll be able to fill it with great works. Yeah, that was a great purchase, actually. I'm really happy. It was a lot of faith, but who cares? What else am I doing with faith? Clearly not building um, uh, pagodas. So yeah, <laughs> the problem with this war, I was worried about the mountain getting in the way. Now eventually the religious units will kill each other. So already the apostles are starting to trim themselves down, so. Yeah, I always use quick movement and quick combat. And it's actually quite nice in Civ 6. Quick combat is just quick as opposed to instant. Because we didn't just get the animation at all. And then we did. So they're trim trimming each other down a little bit. Good. So yeah, I have to wait five turns before I can actually, like, CB properly. And that's okay, I don't mind that, because we're still waiting for some units to kick in. In a turn, I'll be able to change some of my uh, production choices. Or my civic choices. Is that too loud? The elephants? Way too loud? Alright, let me bring that down then. <laughs> That's really funny. There's our boost to siege tactics. Excellent. Is not Perfect told. timing. And medieval affairs. Often have you heard that told. So, we're gonna switch. Yeah, first all of all. The best romances bloom in the midst of a good siege. Alright, we're gonna get rid of charismatic leader. We're gonna pick merchant confederation, because that's gonna give me some good money. I think crafting is still good. Um, I don't need to upgrade anything, so I don't need the professional army. I'm done building my encampments and encampment buildings, at least for now. I'll probably build stables later on, but I'm gonna get rid of that. So now what we're looking at is... So this would be a boost to cavalry. Medieval... Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, what am I looking for? Muskets. So, let's search for musket. Oh, really? Okay, so it's gunpowder over here, which is Renaissance era. Which is a Renaissance era melee unit. Excellent. So, feudal contract will help us pump out more of those. I need to make sure to put in Merchant Confederacy. I still like Craftsman because I think that's a lot of bonuses from there. Um, so, what else am I looking for militaristically? Sack, garrison, you know, raid, meh, meh, meh. Um, I wonder if Bastions, that does affect the, the boost. Does it boost your encampments? I don't know. I'm considering taking limes because then I could build up to medieval walls in a few places. I'd be kind of happy with just these two. I don't really need, like, desperately a third um, military thing. I'm going to take bastions in case it boosts encampments. Because that actually will be helpful. I wonder if I can tell. This was 31, it's still 30, what? Wait. Is it 31 or 57? I mean, the city's 57. 